I know, I mean... So him and I, we, we both thing? have the same mentality. Art? Oh, what's this? Nothing other than personal items in here. Looks like we can stay off the streets all the way to River Street if we're careful. Let's go. Nice. Let's do this. Oh, jeez. Let's keep going. Be careful up here. They haven't learned to climb yet, right? I'm guessing if, if we had one more guy here, he wouldn't have had a good time. <laughs> that thing was just about to fall. So either way, I'm guessing Ben would have died. It's good to be moving. Doing good. I'm not, but I'm trying, man. What happened? Honestly, you know how many nights Cat and I laid in that broke down RV, and she'd give me hell for not thinking enough about the rest of you. All of them, every damn night. You got that walkie-talkie? Yeah, of course I do. You might want to give him a call and tell him we're coming for him. Yeah, right. Careful, cross here. Let's go. He better not like fucking go all woozy on this shit. Oh, there we go. River Street's just up ahead. Nope. Maw of darkness full of walkers? Fuck that shit. See any down there. You can hear them, right? We're all desensitized to it, but I can still smell them. Let's keep going, you bunch of lollygaggers. <clears throat> oh my god, Kenny. Oh fuck. <sighs> well, I'm so sorry. You're going down. We have to get it back. That's our lifeline to her. But we can find this guy without it. And what if we don't? every clue that comes out of it. Lee's right. I am so fucking sorry. It's fine. We just need to figure out who's going down. Kenny's going down. No, we don't. Oh, okay. Jesus. Krista. Jesus fucking Christ. I got it. Get me up. What a beast. Fuck. We can't reach. Oh, you can we jump. Find something fast. Jesus. Past would be good. Keep a fucking eye on her. He couldn't just jump up? Oh my god. Well, knowing Kenny, he won't be able to do anything. Here we go. He's failed how many times of doing this? Grab onto this! We'll pull you up! Good. Thanks. Am I doing it? Are you serious? Out of everyone? <gasps> oh my god. Well, who trusted me doing that? Oh, fuck. Shit, they're in there! Krista, damn it, jump! Fuck. Jump up here, baby! Let's go! Jump! <sighs> oh my god, get the pole! Me and my fucking mouth. Get go on, Kenny! Doing? Get her, Ken! Can't you see? 
at all that shit and not do something now. Come on, reach. I got you, hun. Save her. Go, go, go. Do you fucking hear me? Kenny! Oh, shit. Get Kenny! Where are you? Maybe the man's all right. Maybe he'll find us. What if he doesn't? He went down there for you. I know he did. He... Oh, Kenny! <laughs> oh. Oh. Another one's gone. God damn it. Fucking Kenny. Ah. Oh. Marshall's hotel is around the corner of the block. Are you okay? Do you want to talk? Kenny was my friend. Soon as someone dies, they don't immediately have to have their sins forgiven. They get to now a moratorium, at least. I understand. This is a shitty time. I want to make sure we're clear before we go forward. What is it? Now with Kenny, gone means Omid and I have to stay safe. For her. You guys would be great for her. Keep her safe. We do our best. You know that. Are you okay? I should be asking you that. You know what I'm talking about. It's nothing. Kenny didn't die for me. It's nothing. Let's just keep moving. We have to cross here. You don't know, maybe he didn't die. At least it doesn't look like a death trap. <laughs> He's first. You're the lightest. He's got a busted leg, and you're walking for two. I'm obviously not doing so hard. Decision doesn't make itself. I'll go first, in case anything happens out there. You sure? Yeah. Let's go, Lee. Oh, fuck. Everyone's falling like flies now. Let's Just go. go nice and slow. Jeez, this thing is rickety as fuck. Almost there. It's an easy crossing. Good. Yeah, don't jinx yourself, Lou. Oh, well, there you fucking go. Fine. I'm kind of fucked here. What are you gonna do? I'll figure something out. There's not a ton of options. Fuck it. 
I'm going for it. Going for it? What does that mean? It means I'm already bitten. I just have to push my way through. What the fuck? But maybe you got to it fast enough. Maybe you'll be fine. I can't risk losing more time on a long shot. Let's meet outside no. of town, by the train. Are you nuts? It's the only way. Do you hear me? Yeah, by the train. Jesus, we we'll be there. No, that wasn't the smartest option. Because aren't all the peop aren't all the zombies over there? Oh, actually, no, they probably moved into town by now. The train should be safe, I guess. I don't know, guys. I don't know, man. I panicked on that one as well. Holy shit. Let's do this. Let's go. Music's turned on. Let's fucking do this. Jeez, he just doesn't give a shit. Go on, Lee! Oh, fuck. Man, he's just slaying him. Right into the horde he went. Beast. Alright, Clementine, I'm coming for ya. Oh man. Oh shit. Nope, anything there? I really want to bust that down. Shit. I got us adjoining rooms. What the fuck? Hello. Okay. This is Sybil. You look horrible. And you're missing an arm. Go over there. Put your things down. Let me out! Who's out there? Shh. <laughs> Quiet, please, sweetie. Is that a dad? Your things. There. Just be cool. Do I not seem cool? Good. Go sit down. I don't know if I should have put everything down. Do you know who I am? No. I don't know anything about you. 
You wouldn't. People like you don't. Now you're thinking, who would have it out for me, huh? A few weeks back, there might have been a station wagon in the forest. Oh, fuck. All sorts of food, water, things you need to survive. Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm not some cannibal, Lee. Some killer out in the woods. Some villain. I'm just a dad. I coach Little League. Everything was just out there for the taking. We were starving. For Do the your... taking? Do you know what you took from me? I'm sorry. Whatever it is, whatever happened, you have to hear that I'm sorry. That doesn't mean anything to me. I wish it did. I'm not a bad man. I don't believe in vengeance. But I've got nothing left. <sighs> Have you ever hurt somebody you care about? Yes, of course. Who? Hmm. Clementine. Girl misses her parents. I'm not them. I hurt her. So bad. My son Adam went missing. I took him out hunting even though my wife said he was too young. I figured he had to learn. I came back without him and the look on her face said, You are a monster. We all went out looking for him. We never found him. I hurt her. So bad. Then you took all of our things. You robbed us. I could have earned her trust back, Lee, but not after that. I'm sorry. The hungrier we got, the more she blamed me. Until she finally took our daughter Elizabeth and left. They didn't get far. I found them a day later in the road. Do I look like a monster to you? No. I'm not like you. You killed a man with a pitchfork right in front of a little girl. I did what I had to. You abandoned a defenseless, grieving woman. She deserved it. The sweatshirt she's wearing was my boy's. You stole that from us. So I'm really quiet here, guys. Starving. It was cold. So my family starved in the cold! How could you know all this? Fucking walkie talkie. <laughs> God damn it. You're a monster. You're a murderer. And a thief, and I'm gonna hurt you so bad. Fuck him up. <laughs> 